It's not about the car I drive. You know, I, like I said, I could have a Lamborghini out there, but it's not going to, you know, even if I work caught up and all that, it's not going to mean anything to me if no one's here to appreciate it, with, appreciate it with me. And personally, right now, it, to me, it'd just be a waste. I don't need, I don't need something like that. But anyway, I, I in, a, in a sense, I lost myself, and then I, I, to gain an understanding of the things that matter. It's not, it's not all those things that were taught from childhood. In, you know, in this society, anyway, I think there are some, some cultures that, that are in tune that, that understand it, that got it, you know. You know, and it's, you know, we've kind of run away with ourselves, you know, run away with ourselves, run away from ourselves here in this society, you know. We, we've lost touch and uh, very few people get it. it. Took me a while. I'm always looking for adventure and new stories because I mean, it's in my nature, you know, I'm, I'm amazed at the world. I'm amazed with the world. I'm amazed with everything that's out there. I'm amazed with, uh, you know, going out in the desert and looking at a little rock or a little, you know, a, a little cactus or something. I'm amazed at, you know, all the just snowboarding and skydiving, just all the millions and billions of people out there. I'm amazed with all of it, you know, so I'm always, it's hard for me to get stuck in a routine, you know, I, sleep in the same place and I get up and I, you know, slide this little piece of paper into this clock, punch a clock and, you know, it's just the same every day when there's so much more out there to see and experience. So, in a sense, in a sense it's my downfall in this society, in this particular society it's my downfall because, you know, I'm not producing, I'm not, I'm not uh, contributing to the uh, gross national product, you know, I'm not, uh, and that's not what it's about. It's, it's about seeing all these amazing things that are out there, experiencing it, you know, talking with everybody, you know, exchanging ideas. That's, that's why I like to, I'm always off going, doing new things, seeing new places. You know, I want to I see it all, do it all. I do have a sense of there being, you know, the idea that there's, there's an underlying truth to everything. There's a, there's a pattern, there's a truth. And, You know, being out and about, it's, it's the traveling, you know, I mean, you're, you know, I'm paying, uh, I'm probably paying attention to different things than a lot of people are when they're out traveling. You know, I'm, I'm in a sense, I'm trying to find the truth of things. I'm looking, I'm looking at just looking, you know, just trying to keep my senses open and my awareness open and just, just try to find it, you know, you know, find the truth. and. If it's if it's there for for us to understand, you know, in in this particular existence, you know, that's I want to find the truth of things. You know, that's that's going to be an ongoing adventure. You know, an ongoing search. Find yourself. Well, some people, who's to say we've ever lost ourselves? You know, I mean, we keep hearing you hear that concept or that idea, that phrase all the time. Find yourself. Find yourself. Well, like. What if you never lost yourself? You know, I don't think I've ever lost myself. I had to, I got caught up playing the game a little bit, thinking, you know, thinking that's what I was supposed to do, but I never lost myself, you know. Finding yourself is, is, is easy. A lot of people are afraid to acknowledge themselves. That's the, that's the problem. I think we all see ourselves. It's just, uh, do you have the courage to acknowledge yourself and stand up, to, you know, stand up for, for what's in there, you know. Most people are afraid to acknowledge the true self, you know. They'll, I, think, I don't think it's a matter of finding it, it's there. You know, everybody sees themselves, they know themselves. Or most people do. It's just the courage to face it, acknowledge it, I think. I don't know, I always saw fighting as a, just a stepping stone to something. It's, it's a, it's like the, there's something I'm supposed to learn from this to do what I'm supposed to do later on, <laughs> you might say. Uh, yeah, it's, fighting is not an end in itself. It's just something I happen to be doing right now. 
You know, there's, I see some great purpose that the way I've lived my life is I've never set out. I've never, okay, I'm doing this, then I'm doing this, then I'm doing this. It's just I had a sense of things. I had a sense of the flow of my life, the kinds of things that would happen, but not exactly what would, what, what would happen. Uh, I saw the stages, though. The fighting is just the stage, and they're all preparation, preparation. It's all preparation. Everything I've done until now, all these things are preparation. They're getting me ready for this. There's something, this is going to sound kind of crazy, it's just, and this is just a sense of things. You know, I have no way of knowing. I didn't go to a card reader, and she said, this is what you're going to do, you know, nothing like that. It's just an idea. It's just an idea, and I'm always one. I like to believe in a little magic, and I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna believe in a little magic. So you might say, this is my belief in a little magic. I see this higher purpose for my life. You know, I think some of us are just here, <coughs> and, and it's like we're free to go about our business and do whatever we want. Others, I think, are they kind of have a, you know, they kind of have a plan. They, they have a purpose. They're here for a reason. And for some, you know, I don't know why I feel that I'm, I'm, I was here for a reason. I was put here for a reason. And uh, all these things, the fighting is just a, it's part of the preparation to build me into the kind of man that's going to be able to accomplish, accomplish this, what I'm supposed to accomplish later in life. The greatest, the greatest thing is coming up later. It's not yet. Right now, I'm just like a student. I'm going through the motions. I'm doing the best I can with what's put before me. Uh, just getting ready. I know it sounds kind of, kind of out there, but that's okay. You know, I've always been one to stand by myself. You know that, that person I saw within the true, my true self. No matter what, don't stray away from your true self. And uh, just don't stop, never stop. Always, I don't know, just don't stop. Don't get discouraged. If you can't beat a thing, go around it, you know? Sidestep it. You know, there's always a way. You know, just never lose, never lose faith that it can be done. No matter what, you can never lose faith that it can be done, whatever it is. It's time to start time to start doing things, doing standing up, speaking, you know, it's time to have a voice and start standing for those things that I learned really matter. I learned I learned when you get to that point when you get so down, so far down, so so away from everything, you learn the things that truly matter. It's not these things that we're programmed with from childhood to to believe matter. It's not those things. You know, I learned that I learned the things that truly matter. You know, now it's down. You know, now I can live by it. One of the ultimate things a human can learn is kindness for their fellow humans and understanding. I'd like to teach those things to my children. It's not so much about these. Once they learn the basic rules, the basic concepts, that's all you need. Everything else is, everything else is superficial. You know, all these, everything else is superficial. As long as the message is heard, then the motivation behind it is not so important as the message itself. As long as I can finally get the message out. That's the important part. <laughs>